Now today we're going to be looking at the Ritual Playing Cards by Elite Playing Cards Company and sent to me by Byworthy Playing Cards Company. So if you can definitely check them out down in the description. Uh, this deck, it's ridiculous, especially built for magicians. So if you're a magician, you will not want to miss this deck because this has a really cool hidden reveal on it that I've never seen on a deck before. And I own almost 200 decks now and I've seen thousands of different decks. So this is going to be a really fun deck to review. Let's get into it right now. All right, now today we're looking at the Ritual Playing Cards, just like I said before, and these were created by the USPCC, but first let's get into what the tuck box looks like so you guys can know what you're dealing with. So on the front, it simply says Ritual with the Ritual Ace of Spades, and then underneath it says Luxury Playing Cards, and it has this same Ace of Spades, but done in a deep red. It has this red band that goes there all the way around to the top and to the back. Oh, unfortunately, this ace right here does not continue to the side, which does kind of make me sad. I wish that, I think that could have been really cool. And besides that, this side simply says Ritual Luxury Playing Cards. Same thing for this side with the ace, of, with that spade right there. On the back, it has the, well, let's start with the top first. The top, the top has the same band and the same spade pip. This says Elite Playing Cards with the Elite Playing Cards logo. And then the back has the back and face of the cards with a band along the bottom. Virtual playing cards with the um, Elite Playing Cards logo there. You have the Elite Playing Cards logo here on the inside tuck flap. And one really cool fun thing here, let me get this into focus, but the barcode is a magic reveal. So it says, instead of just a bunch of numbers, if I can get this to focus here, goodness gracious. This is three of spades. So that's a really fun reveal for magicians like myself um, that clearly I love doing magic tricks with fun little things like that. And that saying three of spades makes that so, so, so much cooler. So nothing on these inside tuck flaps here. And now I can open up this because we don't need this anymore. So we'll throw this off to the side. Let's just put this over there and let's get into these cards. So the cards themselves have a really cool intricate design, extremely detailed, done in two different shades of red. You have this light red here, then you have this deeper red in the middle, and then you have a almost like a dark white. It's not quite gray. And you have a bright white here, which is the same white as the border. And you have a darker line all the way around making that border a little bit, you're giving like a secondary line there, which is kind of cool. Which should make fans a little bit cooler, just like that. So that's what it looks like when fanning them. There you go. So there is, they are pro a thicker border. Um, they have a, I went, I've never, I like, I've seen thicker borders than this before, but they're definitely not a standard border. Um, besides that, they are two-way back design, so if you flip it around, you'll still be fine both ways. They're not marked as far as I could see. Um, you have your jokers, which are really cool. Um, I do like the fact that on all these cards you have background work, so it's not just a plain white. Um, alongside that, you get that same background work on the body. Only the difference is it's colored differently for the joker, and then he's juggling the different pips and the different suits. And then you have two little designs in these corners and joker in these corners and you do have two of them of course and instead of a heart you have that spade right there which is kind of fun now you have ritual with that same ace of spades that you saw in the back ritual luxury playing cards and some elite playing cards um, add copy then you have that same spade pip for all of them only difference is there's no little indice down here which is kind of funny well like it is but like it's Usually there's the bigger two and then the indices move down. It's like this. They're really, really, really close together, which is kind of kind of odd. Um, besides that, only, only one that's kind of weird is the seven. Um, they're all standard, everything else. Um, these are all customized color-wise, and of course the spades have been interchanged, but besides that, they're standard except for standard colorization. 
Then you have your diamond, which is also a power ace, which is kind of fun. I love it when they're bigger and just not the standard, which makes me, that always makes me happy. Besides that, diamonds are, as you would expect, same for clubs. Then you have your club's power ace. So these are all just bicycle standard court cards with changed coloring. And then you have your ace of hearts, which I've always thought was kind of weird that it doesn't like come in more. Like it almost stays flat at the top, which is kind of strange. And you have an elite playing cards, just add card. And you have a blank card for color changes and many different things like that. So if you don't know like something you could do with this, um, you put it second to top and you do a earn ace change, which would look like that. That was pretty sloppy, but we're not going to talk about it. So that's a really simple one you can do and also make the whole deck. If this one problem with this deck though, because they do have this stuff on this side, you're not going to be able to do a blank fan as easily because they do have the stuff up in this corner, which then prevents you from doing a blank fan. Besides that, there are going to be still be many uses for it. And I do have a bunch of color changes here on the channel. So I will link that right up there. Besides that, you guys also want to know how it feels. So let's see first what it feels like when you spring it. So spring it feels nice and smooth. Um, it doesn't have that buttery feel like a broken broken in deck. Like it, it comes in standard as you would normally imagine. It handles well though, it's USB-CC, so I don't know what else you would expect. Um, for the edges, they are a little bit more rough. They're not as rough as like a bicycle deck, but they're definitely, they don't just come in smooth, which is sad. I love it when they just come in smooth. The bottom isn't bad. It's really just the sides. That's kind of strange. I've never had a deck that is more smooth on one side than, than another. That's kind of strange. Um, besides that, you also want to know how it pharaohs because of course you would. Every deck is a little bit different with how it's cut. Now, yeah, that's beautiful. And just look at that. I'm going to give you a little bit of a giant fan there. There you go. So giant fan looks fantastic. And then also farrowing this way from bottom to top works just as well. A little bit of a cascade. Also, you can pick these up down in the description. I'm going to do that on every one of my videos. If it's a deck review for just a regular, regular trick or card stream move or whatever it is. So this was sent to me from Byworthy Playing Cards, but first, um, you want to see if it's more for cardistry, cardistry or magic or what is it for. So I would say number one is for magicians. No questions asked. Yeah, number one is easily for magicians. I mean, it even has it on the box. This is like, this is built from it, a deck built for magicians. Um, do I think it could be used for cardistry? Yes, I do. Um, because of these three here and these two here and the way um, there's only this bit of gray here. When you're doing full cuts, you're going to be able to see those rotate, which is what I think cardists will like. Um, I don't think it's a specific cardistry deck, but I think cardists could easily do cardistry with this deck, um, especially because of how thick the borders are also. Um, that will also make it a lot easier for cardists to be able to work with this deck. Um, would it work for gameplay and collectors? Of course, um, for collecting, I don't think like you're going to see something because like the box isn't, it's a cool box. Um, you probably could have done it pretty quickly though. Um, I don't think a ton of time was put into this box in all honesty. Um, like there's definitely some background work done up here like this, like even behind it. But in all honesty, you take the same spade pip, you make it bigger, you take the bands, you put the cards on the back. That's really about it. So I think the main thing that could have been hard was coming up with this idea. But if you already had that idea before you come up with this deck, this bo box probably didn't take you a ton of time. Um, so probably for collectors, if you had this on a shelf, 
those probably wouldn't be great for collectors. Um, but I really do love how these are done. And I think that the cards are great for collectors. So all in all, I really like this deck. And also for fanning like this, you definitely get a cool fan going on the inside as well, on the faces. So if you want to pick this deck up, head over to Buy Worthy Playing Cards. That will also be down in the description. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys do like these types of deck reviews. I do come out with them every single Wednesday. So request a deck, send me a deck, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe, ring the bell, give this video a thumbs up. This is Guard Perfect, signing off.